In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the easiest money plays in Madden 22 that's going to be able to help you be able to beat every single coverage in this game and also be able to help you have control of your offense. What I mean by control of your offense is we want to be able to control the ball with the passing game. And this is going to combine a couple of our favorite concepts in the game to be able to make easy reads for your offense, have high-low concepts on both sides of the field, and also have a triangle read in the middle of the field to be able to really mess with your opponent's user. This is one of my favorite plays for zone drops and really specifically one of my favorite plays for the double Mabel meta whenever your opponent is setting their flats at 30, their curl flats at 10, and their hook curls at 5. Now, as you can see right here, I am in the 46 playbook. I've got kind of the meta uh, defense, if you will, up here. And we're just going to take a look at how this concept uh, can really be very effective against the double Mabel meta. Let's make sure I got my audible set here. Got the Mike Blitz 3, Cover 1 Robber, everything that we need. And the play that we're going to be taking a look at today is from the Gun Bunch formation. You can find it in almost... Uh, pretty much 80% probably of the bunch playbooks, the majority of them have this concept, and that is the flood play. And the reason we want to use the flood play is because we don't want to have a corner route. We actually want this to be a deep out route. So this 15-yard out route is really where we're going to center this concept and this play around because if we had a corner route, we'll show you why that's not advantageous here in just a second. So we're just going to call the play flood. And it's a real simple setup. Now, what I like to do is I actually like to have – uh, my bunch you can actually run this to the short side but I like to have better spacing here and we're gonna be to the wide side of the field but you can do this on either side and it'd be very effective and really all we're going to do really simple setup we're going to put our running back on an out or a wheel so you can either wheel your running back like this or you can put him on a five yard or a little uh, running back out route to the left then what we want to do is we want to hitch our circle receiver now why would we want to hitch that circle receiver this is going to create our triangle read because this out route is 15 yards and it goes with a nice flat angle to the sideline. I'll show you kind of the problem and then we'll show you the solution. So the problem is, let's say that Chris Godwin was on uh, some type of corner route like this. What you're going to see is that this outside third can actually play this to the sidelines. You can see right there, he's able to play that, especially a baseline third will play that very well. So what I wanted to do was, uh, and again, most of the time people are going to be in this double Mabel meta. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to get my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, you can get all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks uh, by joining our Patreon for only ten dollars. It's going to unlock every single ebook. We've got over thirty ebooks this year. Just dropped some brand new material on our trips tied in offense and a new defense in the dollar or the dime two three six will um, this weekend. So if you want to check that out, again, you get access to everything uh, for just ten dollars. The link is in the description to sign up for the Patreon membership. And uh, you can check that out if you'd like. Again, link is in the description. But watch now with this concept here. And now we're going to use this nice deep out route. What's really nice about this deep out route is you're going to see that the outside third is not going to play it. Now, if they have a 10-yard curl flat as they do right here, he'll play it. But the outside third in particularly, he's not going to be able to play the out route. They're going to have to put an underneath zone over there. So let's say, for example, that, and, and this is very possible, let's say they put a vertical hook here to be able uh, to stop the hitch. This is why we want to use the triangle read to really put their defense in a bad position because you got to think about it. They have to blitz two people in order to get sheds, and they can only, on their third rusher, he actually has to be in a three-rec hook because he has to be in a bluff blitz. So if you think about it like that, it makes it a little bit more systematic because they literally can't defend everything that we can do here. So back to this cover three for just a second. As you can see, I now have a vertical hook to be able to defend the hitch, and I have my hard flat there to defend you know, the Z-spot corner route or the crosser from the left side. And what you're going to notice here is now this out route is going to get underneath that cloud. As you can see, it gets wide open over on that side of the field. So now we put the, the defense in a bad position. So now what they have to do to be able to stop the flat and to be able to stop that hitch route is they have to put a curl flat over on the right side of the field, as you can see. Now, the beauty of this uh, concept is now they don't have a ability to be able to put a vertical hook because this guy right here has to be a bluff blitz. If he is not a bluff blitz, they, he won't guard anything um, or they won't be able to get a, a pass rush. So they have to bluff blitz this guy. They can't just drop him into a zone. 
So because of that, the three rec principle, typically speaking, is to, you'll see right here, say he comes over here. Now we can now throw our dig right in behind um, this reed. Now, I want to show you something else about this to the short side of the field. This is a little bit of a pro tip to the short side of the field with this concept. It's really help un unpack why this is so good. So, again, like I said, they have to three-wreck this defender. They have to bluff blitz him. And then this guy is – he's supposed to – just to kind of illustrate, um, I'm just going to put him in a hook curl over here to the left just to kind of illustrate the user. And I want you to watch on this right side – this hitch, specifically when this hitch is just outside the numbers. So I'm just going to motion him one step, and I want you to watch what happens to the coverage. So one step, motion. You see now he's outside the numbers. Now watch the hitch. You see how now our triangle read becomes a lot more interesting in terms of how this, this concept really can come together. Now I want to back up and go back over to the wide side of the field. Notice that the three rec did not play it. Why does the three rec not play it? I've talked about this before on my channel. But there is a grid system in Madden. What I mean by a grid system is that every zone has a grid in which they will play. If a route is in their grid, they will go guard it. But if the route is not in their grid, they won't go guard it. So what you'll see here with this three rec is if I motion this hitch out, again, just a step or two to the outside. Really want to try to get it to the numbers is really the ideal place. We're just going to motion him out. And what you'll see here is now this three rec he looks like he's going to play him, and then he falls away. Just notice what he did. See, I looked like he's going to play him, then he falls away. And, again, that's the only yellow zone they can put there. So this concept is literally, literally unguardable um, against, against zone coverage. Now, I want to talk specifically for just a second here about how this concept works if I was playing man-to-man -man coverage. Man-to-man -man coverage is going to be a little bit more effective just in terms of especially what zones they drop. So, like, if they put a purple over here, that will uh, defend the wheel route. If they have this three wreck over the middle of the field, that could be very effective for defending, you know, the in route or the deep dig. But what's really interesting about this concept, again, we're going to motion this hitch, and then we're going to have this out route. Now, you'll see right here, your running back to the flat will be able to beat man-to-man. -man. About 90% of the time. And again, this is a max coverage man-to-man -man play. This is max coverage man defense, and we're able to take advantage of it with some simple simple route combinations like this. Okay, so now they're going to do that. And then let's say over here we're going to actually drop this guy into a flat. Well, what this does is it opens up the middle of the field. Now, the other thing, again, we want to motion this out. Watch the tight end. You'll see he gets kind of a, a turbo boost, but look at this Look at this hitch. See, I can low ball inside, aggressive catch, that hitch route. Very effective route for man-to-man -man defense. So now what this is going to force your opponent to do is it's going to force your opponent to have to shade their coverage um, in man, which, again, these are a lot of adjustments. These are a lot of things that they're going to have to worry about to be able to play good defense. So... You know, now the whole middle of the field is open. So let's say, for example, one one other little kind of compliment to this is we could run a slant to Scotty Miller instead of a hitch, and we could have a skinny post from Mike Evans coming over the top if we wanted to do something like that. That's another option. But I want to show you this hitch. When you motion this hitch out against shaded underneath, you can actually lowball this and still cut this off. Why? Because they're shading outside and underneath. They actually have to shade inside to be able to defend that. Most people don't do that this year because – a lot of people know that the best way to play man defense is a shade outside underneath because I could just go to the play. If they want to shade um, inside and underneath or if they want to play cover to defense, now this is where the chess match comes comes in. But, but as you can see right here, um, I can call verticals and I'll have a touchdown every single time. So this is going to keep them from having that shade on their coverage. They're going to open up your hitch, and your hitch is really what's going to make this play go. Now last little piece of advice here that I have for you. If you just kind of slide, just and what I mean by slide is like you just want to move in the pocket just a little bit, uh, just a little bit to be able to make this effective. But let's say they're doing the two purples. This is really the best, in my opinion, the best defense because now I can use her over the middle of the field. What I can do, um, and the beauty of these routes in particularly, is if I just move just a little bit to the right. See, I got a double team, now I can move here. Now I can playmaker that hitch, and now the user can't guard both. 
As you can see, he's going to pick the hitch typically, and you're going to have that in route coming in behind it that's going to be wide open. So just by sliding like ever so slightly, you can open this play up against man to man. We all know that Flood is one of the best match plays um, in the entire game. It's very effective against match. The out route will 90% of the time be wide open. If that's not open again, your in route, your dig are very good reads. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that this was helpful. If you want to learn my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, there's a link in the description below where you can click on that and go get signed up for the Patreon where you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.